Gee there, ladies and gents, and welcome back to Subnautica with Mags. And as you can see, I've done a little bit of work to the surface base. Not too much, because I don't want to advance too much in the storyline as it currently stands. I've mainly been improving the garden area, still haven't done much out there except build a glass window. And set myself up with some fabricators and so on, so I can move everything out of the escape pod. Because if you'll recall my last playthrough, a small glitch had my escape pod actually teleport off the side of the map. So I try not to rely on it much if I can avoid it. Anyways, what I, another thing that I have done is build the repair tool. And I've repaired the systems on board the escape pod. So I have a working radio there. And just a few moments ago, I got a message or an icon that indicates that a radio communication has come through from the escape pod. So we're gonna go over there, find out what it is and see where it leads us. Message. Okay, Altera crew, this is Life Pod 6, high priority, non Altera passengers aboard. Coordinates attached, we've landed one kilometer from the crash site, but our path to the rendezvous is irradiated. We've only got one rad suit. Quest for immediate assistance, six out. Now, I'm carrying a health pack. Um, I've actually been trying to gather the stuff to build a radiation suit, but if there is... If there's already a radiation suit that I can grab... It's only 281 meters away. That, sh that might be outside of the irradiated zone. I might be able to make that. Um, I'm not going to need any of my materials. I've been gathering all the materials for the second base, which I'll be building somewhere much deeper than here once I've gathered enough from the surface, but um, I don't think we'll need any of them for this run. Oh, I'll have to remember that's there. A little bit more titanium that I'll need to move around. I do like moving around at night time. They have done some improvements to the lighting. I was sure I was over here before. I don't recall seeing this one. sun is coming up. That is fine. Alright, so what have we got on the outsides here? We have a PDA. Life Pod 6 crew log, we'll have a look at that. Ah, compass. Beautiful, I will definitely take that. Now, is that already plugged in? Ah, oh, it's just a blueprint. That's a really cool blueprint box, actually. That's a real shame. I was sort of hoping that that would actually give me the compass straight out. Um, I'll go inside the pod in a second. We've got some metal salvage. I'll definitely grab that. Um, there's some salt over there that I might grab before I leave too. Uh, grab some air before we go inside the pod. If I can go inside the pod. Ah, oh, gotta go through the hole, of course. Um, we have another PDA. Life pod six crew two. Where is the radiation suit? some air. This pod in the past used to have parts lying around it. Unless they've changed that because it was a little bit too easy to get the suit, which would make sense. Right, grab another mouthful of air and then I'll quickly while I'm sitting here. Uh, no, not voice log. Data bank. Data downloads. Life pods. Life pod 6 log 1. Altira crew, ma'am, I need you to stay calm. We're not in immediate danger. Aurora passenger, where are the rescue teams? Altira crew, the ship didn't make it. Aurora passenger, so where are the rescue teams? Altira crew, they're dead, ma'am. We have the rendezvous coordinates, but the route here is heavily irradiated from the crash site. 
We only have one red suit. Aurora passenger, so what are you going to do? Altira crew. God, I would have thrown her out the, the door. Um, Altira crew, if I take the suit, perhaps I can find a lead source in the area, come back and fabricate a second suit from you, and then we can swim to the rendezvous. Aurora passenger, so how do I know you'll just how do I know that you'll just not save yourself? Give me the suit, I'll go. Altira crew, do you know how to properly equip? Aurora passenger, I said I'll go. Crew log two. Altira crew, I never should have let her leave, not with that rad suit. By now she's either swum to dry land or drowned trying. Meanwhile, the air filters aren't keeping up with the hull breach. Radiation levels in the pot are rising. I won't last much longer without meds. This would be the time to take the easy way out if all the options on the table weren't equally horrific. Hatch opens. Aurora passenger, help me. Altira crew member, what happened? Aurora passenger, coughing. I tried to make it to the rendezvous, but I started feeling sick. Barely made it back. Altera crew, this is important. Did the suit breach? Are you contaminated? Aurora passenger, no, I don't know what's wrong. Altera crew, did you set the air levels right? Aurora passenger, yes. Sound of scanner. Altera crew, do you remember to do up the zipper? Aurora passenger, what zipper? Altera crew, your radiation levels shouldn't be this high, man. You've been exposed to? Ma'am, ma'am, wake up. Aurora passenger, if you make it off this planet, please don't tell people I died because I didn't dress my because I couldn't dress myself. Scanner, life signs flatlined. Altira crew, your secret's safe with me. I don't expect to make it off this planet. So that's why there's no rad suit here. The second guy would have taken it off her and then made a swim for it himself. As for her body, well, this is a low-rated uh, low game, so well, thank you, I'll take that. Uh, we're not going to find one, but we do have a compass, so it was definitely, definitely worth the trip out. Um, at this point, I guess we'll head back, see if we can grab some more supplies, and I am thinking it's time to go somewhere else. Now, we're still restrained by depth, 200 meters maximum in the... Uh, in the Seamoth. It's around underneath to the door. But that should be enough to make the mushroom forest without too much of an issue. Uh, turn the lights off so it's not consuming power. Welcome aboard, Captain. Um, fabricator. Equipment, compass copper wire and a computer chip well it just so happens I believe I have everything for both two copper for a copper wire um, loads of lead here but I don't think I've got all the rest of the materials I need silver ore I need table coral samples for the computer chip I think uh, not bait oh yeah why I'm at it <coughs> sort this titanium out advanced All right, so there's a copper wire covered and electronics computer chip I just need the two table coral samples which I should be able to grab not far from here this will help me navigate around and keep my bearings in the deeper water and didn't realize this tunnel was here. I built my base right over a tunnel full of uh, breakable uh, stone that can have stuff inside of it, but I didn't even know it was there. There we go. Um, pop the surface quickly, grab a bit, another mouthful of air. Yeah, I can put that away now because that one's been done. Nothing there. Uh, ah, here we go. That's table coral. That's the one we're after. Now we need two. One. Two. Try and gas me. Alright, so once we've got the compass, I think I'll load up on titanium and basic supplies, and we will head to the north. Computer chip, a 
we've already got the copper wire, so equipment, thermometer. Don't need the thermometer yet. The compass will be useful. Alright, cool, it's already plugged in. Um, why I'm thinking about it. Nope, 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 nope. I want. Uh, put the builder on three rather than the flare. Build a wall locker. I'll build it here actually. Actually, I shouldn't build it on that panel because I may need that panel yet. The uh, square panel here is where you can build reinforcements or glass. I'm not planning on building grass glass there, but I'm down to one, actually 0.5 structure on this building. I can't make it any bigger. So a reinforcement might be a good idea. Um, now, take the signal out because I don't need the signal anymore and this is what I'm going to do here. I'll store the signals in here and when I got the materials to build my own radar receiver in this base, I'll, or radio receiver, I'll probably build it on that wall. Alright, so I've got a cure pepper. I'll quickly cook this boomerang. Running kind of low on water. Uh, sorry, fishies. But that's what you're there for. I'm going to need the supplies. Don't ask me how f a couple of fish can turn into bottled water. I have no idea. I don't ask on such things. Okay, so I want five glass that I built. That's two windows and a door. And then as much titanium as I can carry. I'll keep the flare. I won't need the repair gun, I don't think. Famous last words, of course. One spare battery, four, one spare power cell. Uh, I'll need the builder, I'll want the scanner. I'll take the flare for extra lighting at night time. We'll take one extra titanium. That's all we need. And yeah, we'll leave this place go for the moment. Welcome all right. Aboard, Captain. Let's go north. I do like, like what they've done with the lighting in this patch. They have made a lot of little improvements. It just does look... Sorry, Fishy. Um, just looks nice and smooth. And this should be the kelp forest that borders the northern part of the, uh, the starting zone. So the signal for the pod is there. Um, I think we've got to go a little bit to the northwest. Red grass plains. Pillars for the red grass. Oh, we have a wreck. This is the kind of stuff that I was hoping to find. I'm going to stop here for a moment. Scan her out. Let's see if we can find anything that is useful here. Actually, probably not. I think I remember this wreck. There's never much here. A violet, a violet plant we can scan. A battery charger fragment. Oh, that's worth it. Uh, one of two, and the second one is here, so two of two. So we've picked up the battery charging blue blueprint, which is beautiful. Uh, some debris, which I'm carrying full load of. 
red wart. Yes, I'm aware I'm running out of air before you start whinging at me because I know you're about to. Seconds. There it is. And that is another battery charger fragment, which is only going to give me titanium at this point. Um, Alright, let's head back to the boat and we can get out of here. Oxygen. Another wreck. This one has a container on top. That looks like a battery charging station as well. It's a battery charging station. But this one has a spot to get inside. What the hell am I hitting? Starters with the supply crate. It is a health pack, which is something that we don't need. Another battery charging station there. Wow. Still suit fragment. Now that's different. One of two. Lady in the locker. And let's open up this door. Awfully dark in here. Battery charger, battery charger. Actually, I think I can do something about the darkness. If I go... 30 seconds. Um. The sun is setting. Of course the sun's setting right when I'm going into a spot that has no potential light. Alright, that's right, we'll use the Sea Glide as a torch. Um, their battery charging stations all around. We have another supply crate, which has bottled water. Still suit fragment, that's what I'm looking for. That's the same thing. Sealed door requires access but this one can be opened and that one leads straight back outside <coughs> and what about that one there's another room there's another room in there that requires a torch to get into Say get out of the sea moth, stupid. Um, is there another way inside of this room? Now that's the door in there. Uh, there is one supply room here. <coughs> Alright. Slightly northwest in the red glass grass plains, 842 meters out. I'll when I get access to the the laser cutting tool, I'll come back here and cut that door open and see what's on the other side of it. That's um yeah, that's why the compass is useful. I can take bearings and work out how to get back to places. But still, we got a still suit out of that, so I'm not complaining. All right, let's continue on our way down. rays so that's always a good sign that I'm getting in the area because they live in the mushroom biome bone sharks and one hell of a drop that's well below my ability to dive but that is not the mushrooms that is the ghost forest 
Yeah, I can't. Oh, whoops. Maybe I should have bought that repair tool after all. Um, yeah, Ghost Forest, I can't do. It's well below my depth. They are having a crack at this. Jesus. There it is. Here's the mushroom biome. Okay, so we need to build a base. Above the depth line, preferably. Alright. Lithium just there. Seven. Passing safe depth. Yeah, I know exactly how far I am down, computer. Um. Caution. Passing safe depth. Okay, I reckon for the cool factor. Not sure why this has gone transparent again, but that's okay. I can still see what I'm doing. Why? I won't go any further down. That's a shame. There then, I guess. That's a lot higher than I wanted to build it. I want a multi purpose room. Thirty seconds. Actually, go back and get some air first. Far into that standard compartment. Ah, wrong one. That one. Yeah, that's a better idea. We'll build a standard uh, tube with a multi purpose room off the end of it. Hatch on the end. I didn't bring any quartz for power, Warning. so we're not going to have any. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. That's fine. One window here means I can still drown inside. I'm going to need two quartz at least. Welcome aboard, Captain. That's the start of a base. I'm going to have to bring more supplies down than this, though. Alright, so how am I doing for... I've only got two titanium left, so I wouldn't be able to do much else with this anyway. But that does at least give me the start of a base in the mushroom biome to search from. Take some of this lithium because I need this for the reinforcements at the other base and at this base since it's deeper. Um, hmm. From here, we'll do a little bit of a cruise around and see exactly what we can see. I would like to drag some more tech out of this if it's at all possible. Yeah, this is this is as deep as you can actually get with this um, submersible in its standard form. This is the crush depth zone. Thankfully, you don't need to go any deeper than this. Everything you need in order to be able to get deeper is above it. Oops. Um, 
more lithium back there. I'm not too worried about gathering massive amounts of lithium just yet. I will need it eventually, however. Got here, Cyclops Hull Fragment. Yes, we'll take you. This is part of the reason that I'm here. I'm pretty sure that's a bridge fragment. Yep, that's a bridge fragment. Another piece over here for bridge fragment. Oops. God, you lose the base in a hurry. I'm going to have to bring a beacon with me the next time I come here and plant one so I can actually find my way back to it. You can see it just through there. But if you didn't know it was here, or you're in a rush, running out of air, that. And incidentally that's why I'm actually building it so I can load it up with supplies and also use it as an oxygen base should something happen to the uh, to the Seamoth one moving around. Caution, passing safe depth. I know computer. Uh, that looks like a hull fragment. The sooner we can get the parts and get this big bastard built, the sooner we can get really deep. There is the added bonus, of course, that they don't try and eat you, which makes them one of the few creatures down here that won't. Hmm. Power level's down to 45. I do have a spare battery if I need it, but... I can't gather resources down here just yet outside of the odd lithium here and there because I don't have anywhere to store them and I can't move enough at once. And yeah, oh, there we go, something. There's the whole fragment done. Another current transmission coming in. A power transmitter fragment. Right. Grab that lithium. That's probably enough for the moment. We've got managed to grab some of the Cyclops' bits. We've got some lithium, which will help me reinforce. The... Oops. I think I. Yeah, I broke that one. Bridge fragment. Now I'm pretty sure I still need the engine components. I'm down to 47%. I think it's time we started shooting for the surface. That was right. Maybe I should have built the base over there. Or on this. Now in amongst the, uh, the mushrooms is fine. That way leads down to the ghost forest. Right, so not quite a kilometer from the escape pod. Right, at this point we'll head back to base, we'll have a look and see what this new radio signal is, and we will definitely give this Seamoth a bit of a fixer up, because she needs it. Alright, and home sweet home, so we'll just pull the Seamoth up here for the moment. Yeah, she be broken. Welcome aboard, Captain. Um, we'll put that on five. Um, 
actually eat the food and water while I was out, but no matter. And there we go. Okay, so our ride's all fixed now, but um, power levels 40%. Okay. What do we need? We've got the power transmitter. Battery charger, computer chip, copper wire, and a piece of glass. That actually shouldn't be too much to deal with. We only need a wiring kit to deal with the communications array and bring it inside too. So we'll have to do that. But for the moment, let's have a bit of a swim over here. Oh, not you. You stay away from my escape pod. Every time I go near you, you shit green globs everywhere that try and kill me. Ah, what's the message? This is an automated distress signal from Life Pod 4. Coordinates attached. Since Planet Hall, Pod has not sustained damage. No crew members have disembarked and zero life signs have been detected on board. Recommend investigation. Eight hundred meters, zero life signs. Oh no, I can't do that one. That is well, well, well inside of the radiation. Or can I? I wonder how much I have some lead, I might be able to make the red suit after all. Which means radiation suit. Beautiful. That's the radiation gloves. I've got the dive fins already on. We have the radiation helmet and the radiation suit. Beautiful. So at this point, I've got everything I need to go swimming north and exploring to see what's going on. So I think I'm going to make that my next job, but one other thing I want to do, I have titanium, I have lithium. Oh, that's better. How much titanium do I have left? Not enough. But I have spares in here, so that is fine. Let's build another one just here. 14.5, so now when I get enough I can actually re-glass the rest of this place and build some more stuff for power inside as is needed. Excellent. Uh, put the rest, uh, no, that there's just for the transmissions. We'll put these in here. Ah, we have to sort out some food issues, but that won't be a problem at all. So yes, I think what I will do now I've got everything built, is get myself food and watered up, and for the next episode we'll head up to Life Pod 4, see exactly what's going on, and then while we're up that end of the world, I usually would need a laser cutter to do most of the stuff that's there, but I can at least look around the outsides of the Aurora and see if I can find any useful tech. Anyways, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you very much for watching. Remember to click that like button if you do subscribe if you want to see more, and as always, dive smart, dive safe, and I'll catch you in the depths.